Ninge kuwa Malaika And then in English you would sing to the English yeah, audience Yeah, yeah, sing it Angel I really love you my angel Oh my angel I really love you my angel What more can I do I'm in love with you I'm poor I got no money But I would love to marry you oh. Sal Davis, folks, could you imagine this man grew up as Salim Abdullah Salim? But I tell you, at 73 years old, what a legend, what a man, what a show is turning out to be. Your friend Leonard Mambombotella calls in, he says, Jeff, welcome to Pwani. I'm enjoying the show. You know, you know Leonard well, don't you? <laughs> I know him. What do you mean I know him? He's, he's like the brother. He's like a brother. He's another living legend. Oh, yeah. He's a big legend. M much bigger than I am. No, he, no, no, no. Yo, he, you're the biggest. He, he's in talking. <laughs> <laughs> King Andri Kigoro says, Sal, our very own Ray Charles. There you go. How about that? A lot of people trying to break us up. Why when the letters be? Sticks and stones will break my bones. Talk don't bother me. That's Ray Charles. Nice. I've been abused. In my heart. That's Ray Charles. Sweet. OJ Henry says, I'm not moving an inch. Sal Davis, this is epic. Thank you. Thank you. And then some guy called the transporter says, I thought Jeff Kainanga was a huge guy until he sat next to Sal Davis. <laughs> I eat more than him. That's what you should say. <laughs> Tell him I eat more than him. <laughs> so, Sal, you were talking about um, talking with the First Lady Lucy. She had, she wanted you... Uh, have you started already? We're on the air. No, I didn't know that you were on the air already. <laughs> Tell me next time, man. Yeah, well, what is this one? That's television, man. No, no. Now, let me, let me go to the beginning of this story. No, don't take too long, man. No, no, I don't take too, too long. I had see, I'd gone to see my Kibaki yeah. at State House. Right. Now, talking to my, and you know Mahi, who was still alive at the time. Mm. And I went with Anthony Waruhi, a friend of mine. Uh, uh, Munene, you know, I call him Munene, Anthony. And we went together. Now, uh, Kibaki says to me, Sal, what do you want? I said, Your Excellency, whatever you give me, I'll take it. And he said, why don't you go as an ambassador to the Arab world? That's his words. Lucy was there. He said, no, I want Sal to help me regarding Okimwe. Now, that really killed me because if I wait, I want to go as an ambassador, it would be better for me. But anyway, yeah. and I said, Mama, whatever you say, I'll do. Oh. I want you to write me a song. I want you to travel the whole of this Kenya talking about Ukimwe. She had a, she, that was good. At that time, mm -hmm. Lucy was right yeah. because you need to do an awareness campaign at that time. Yeah. And she was the... Uh, uh, the chairperson. Yeah, like the patron. Sort yeah, of. she was the teacher. Like uh, Margaret is now. Mm. So I said, okay, mama. And I wrote a song, you know. Ukimwi, niu gonjwa mbaya tizama lako, chunga maisha yako. Ukimwi, hauna dawa, uliza daktari, na waganga pia. Uh, of chorus is saying, Ukimwi, Raisi Amesema, Ukimwi, Umemaliza Wafanya Kazi, Ukimwi. That, that was the song. The song I wrote. I, now, here goes Sal Davis, as naive as he would ever be. <laughs> Raila has a meeting hmm. at Tononoka. Raila is a friend. I had dinner with him at Nyali Beach together with Balala, hmm. Najib. So they said, they Invite me to the meeting the next day. So oh, I'll be there. You well, show up? I show up. Hey, Maida was still alive. Maida was jumping up and down because he figured like maybe this guy might convince me to stand for Kisauni's seat. Uh, I, well, those days. But anyway, put it this way, that contract was canceled. Yeah, the contract was canceled. Maybe you should have listened to Uncle Mwai with that ambassadorship. Yeah, my, my friend, Mwai. My... You played golf with him a lot, didn't you? Mwai, I played nearly two or three days a week golf. Myself, Mwai Kibaki, uh, Gavia, you know, and uh, quite a lot of people at Muthaiga. Was he, was he a good player? He was good. Mwai became 11 handicap at one time. 11 or 14. I Come think. on. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't remember now. 
He's got a lot of free time now. Maybe he can take it up again. No, I think he's there's a bad. He's got a bad hand. When he had that accident, really, it affected his hand. I think. No, that therapy he, would help. You man. can't swing. No, but you have to be able to swing the club. Someone else you knew. Sorry to cut you off, Sal. Someone else you knew personally, and he just passed away this week, man. Jeroge. The late Doctor Jeroge. Yeah. Magana Jeroge Magai. Yeah, yeah. I knew him not as well as I knew my, but I knew him, and he wasn't a golfer, but he played, and twice him and I went to Sigona. And we walked and played golf together. Mm -hmm. Then I would, uh, he would come to my club, yeah. Sal Davis Knights. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then also when he was in England and I would be in England, he would call and I would go to see him at the Cumberland, Cumberland Hotel. Place yeah. Hotel. And I would you know, we'd have a chat with him. He was a good man. I love Jorogi yeah, yeah. He was a man uh, who meant exactly what he says. Mm. There was no mix, uh, m m mixing words. He called it like he saw it. Yeah. Right? That was the guy. What, that he was, and I, I wasn't that, I didn't get so close to, to, to Njoroge like I was close to my, really? my, my I was closer. Yeah. But Njoroge was a smart man, man. Oh, Daktari was a smart man. I, listen, he would not be a Daktari man if he wasn't well, smart. This is true, this is true. <laughs> we got a tweet in from your friend, you just mentioned him just now, Najib Balala. Oh yeah. yeah he says, we are proud of you, Sal Davis. Thank you very much, Najib. I'm, a pre I'm happy that he, he called. Although you put me in trouble, you know, and you put me in trouble How so? with that, that, that contract of <laughs> the contract of, uh, <laughs> of what you call it, Ukimwi. Yeah. Because yeah. once he took me with Raila together, yeah. Yeah. then I lost the 10 million shillings daily contract <laughs> to travel the whole of Kenya. <laughs> But anyway, Najib, thank you very much. Well, maybe First Lady can take it up now because nah. you know, she's, she's got some good First Lady was enthusiastic. No, I'm saying this First Lady. No, this First Lady was yeah. enthusiastic after lunch. And he got uh, his her secretary to call me mm. once or twice. I must have said something that wasn't nice, maybe to him. So maybe I tried to put a try and make a date with the secretary. <laughs> I never did that. I they never did. called you back. I never, hey, can you give me my number back, please? <laughs> Don't call me. I'll call you. <laughs> so they never called oh, back. Oh man. man! So I lost that. But, but it doesn't matter. But you know what? It, what this goes to show, Sal, is the fact that you know. A prophet is never recognized in his own home, man. Listen. You get more kudos in Tanzania. Listen, listen. You took the words right out of my mouth. There's a saying in Swahili that says, Mchezo kwao hutuzwa. Mm -hmm. Rubbish. Mm. You're never recognized in your own place. Yeah. Like, for example, but, but that's natural. Because right now, for example, I, I'm on a golf course. I play a lot of golf every, every day. But they're my friends. If you say Sal Davis, ah, you know, so that kind of a thing, right. nobody really appreciates no. you no. as much as you would be appreciated. Now, I'm in Europe, okay? I'm in Spain, I'm in, I'm in Germany. Now, if I, if I go to Germany and I said, ladies and gentlemen, I've sang all these songs, now let me sing a song from my own country. Hmm. You understand? Now let me sing a song from my country so you know what it means. So I'd sing a song like Malaika, yeah. all right? Yeah. And then I would say, this is what it means in English. Oh, angel, I really love you, my angel. What more can I do? I'm in love with you. I'm poor, I got no money, but I would love to marry you. Hmm. Now, now, you know, I would say that is a translation of that. I wrote that translation myself. Yeah. You know, so that... Europeans know they can associate where I'm from. There's also another Swahili saying, Sal, that goes, Ukimima uh, Punda Nyasi. Eh, Unam Saidi Ashishuka. That's what happens when, when they didn't call me. Mama, mama didn't call me, yeah. uh, but, and, uh, and the secretary <laughs> didn't call me. So I said, well. You can't make this up. Yeah. Stanley Mwangi says, I like what am I though? What am I though? What, what was that about? That was you in Meru. <laughs> <laughs> now we, we, we joke about that with my friends on the golf course. Right. Like Kaburu, a yeah. friend of my Kaburu is my lawyer. Right. We joke with it, you know. What I keep picking up Peter, what am I though? You know? <laughs> <laughs> that was Jeff Koinangi's uh, say. You know? Was that my own? You know, I don't know where you got it from, but we copied it from you. All right. Seems like Balana's enjoying the show. He's tweeted right back. What did he say? He says, He's going to give me a contract for the mining. <laughs> <laughs> He's a miner, minister of, minister of mine. Am I going to get a contract for mining? A, get a little bit of uh, well, 
food in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He says, I apologize for the mess on your contract with Lucy. <laughs> yeah, but g g give me something you now, know, man. Toss me a bone. Yeah, just throw me a bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, you know. Sal's night spot. Huh? Sal's Sal Davis, Davis night, night spot. Now you're still not talking about what I want you to talk no, about. No, just let's go back a little bit. A little bit. We'll come back. We'll Sal come back. Davis night spot was the place. Where was it, man? Uh, on your road. <laughs> The Koinange Road, that street. road, street, yeah, yeah. Koinange Street. Yeah. That was that mushroom up there. That was the Sal Davis night spot for two years. But then I got into problems. Problems but are... Was, like, it a, was it a popular spot? Oh, what? Because it was a decent place Who showed where up? you could come to your wife. Everybody that you know, the Tom Boyers and his wife Pam in those days. The, everybody you know. Come on, Dr. Was there. guy. It was there. Come Believe on. Believe me, I'm telling you. All the people you Obama know. senior. Oh, Barack, my God, my <laughs> God. He was a friend. He used to come and sit in the bar. He was a friend. And I can't talk about Barack because, uh, you know, he loved his drinking. Yeah. He loved, he enjoyed drinking. Sure. So put it that way. And we leave it at that because I don't want to go any further with that. But he was, a, he was a regular. Uh, every evening uh, after work, Barack would come to the club. The father of the president of the and United States. And then I tell States. you one thing. He would be dressed. He was a good dresser. Three-piece suit all the time. But believe me, by the time the, the evening might end, <laughs> the tie was off. <laughs> I mean, but he was, he was a friend. He was a friend. Yeah. And I'd say, Baraka, it's time to go home, yeah. man. <laughs> yes. He had a very heavy voice. Apparently, yeah. Yes. Deep, deep yeah, voice. Yeah. He had a very deep voice. But he was such a great friend. Really? And we used to meet and... Uh, and Everybody talk. would show what? Everybody. That was a place. Would you perform? I, yeah, I, I, I even built a special stage there where you pull it out. And there's a certain time I get up on the stage and, and, and I would sing. And I remember the song that was so in, uh, big at that time. Mm. When I come home, tell me all about it. When, and the whole place, people, when I come, they would sing with a song. Oh. That was the place where you could take your wife. It was a decent, I made sure I had a club that was decent for everybody to visit. Mm. Understand? Yeah. And everybody came. That yeah. was perfect. It was lovely, lovely. Those are the good days. So I, want talk, good. I want to take another break, come back and talk about, remember that musician you mentioned? The, who, 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 Teddy Kalanda. We have to talk about him because... Uh, my, he's blind. He's blind. He's, he, well, he's gone blind now. What was the song? Uh, he wrote that song... Uh, Jambo. Jambo. Jambo Buana Abarigan. That's one really uh, among the songs he wrote. But he's now, blind now? He's blind and he's at Kaloleni. I mean, he, he's my relation. His father, Mze Harrison, is my mother's uncle. Hmm. They have, they, there's John Kalan, yeah. there's John Harrison. And no one's helping him? No, and I spoke to the president. You think Balala's listening? Well, I don't know about Balala, if he's going to do anything. Balala. But anyway, I spoke to the president when I had lunch with him. And I'll tell you about it when we come back. Oh, now you're taking the break. Yeah, I'm taking the break. All right. Yeah, now so say, just say, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> sing a song, is it? I sing a song. Oh, so like, hey, I'll be right back. In a moment. In a moment. <laughs>